Since January 2009, Israel has imposed a maritime closure on the Gaza Strip for the purpose of protecting the security of Israel's citizens. It is customary to think that the closure is a complicated matter. In fact, it is not. The closure is so simple and logical it can be explained in five steps. Step 1. Hamas, the terrorist organization that controls the Gaza Strip and does not recognize Israel, has declared on more than one occasion its intention to destroy Israel and uses violence to harm Israel's security. Step 2. One of the main ways that Hamas receives powerful weapons to use against Israel is via the sea. One can see this by looking at the 50 tons of weaponry seized on board the Karine A ship, which was intercepted on its way from Iran to Gaza in 2002, and at the 50 tons of weaponry seized on board the Victoria ship, also bound for Gaza in March 2011. Step 3. In order to prevent such smuggling, it is necessary that the contents of all ships bound for Gaza be checked in order to ensure that the ships do not contain items that will be used in future attacks against Israel. Step 4. Since it is not possible to conduct these checks at sea, Israel must impose a maritime closure on Gaza in order to ensure that all Gaza-bound ships are checked at the port of Ashdod. Step 5. After the checks, Israel permits the transfer of humanitarian supplies from the port of Ashdod to Gaza via land. And in fact, many trucks of goods enter Gaza from Israel every day. The closure does not prevent supplies from reaching the Gaza Strip. It simply allows Israel to inspect the goods in order to ensure the peace and security of Israel's citizens.